Appreciate y'all coming on in, sit the sales right on down. What it do? What it do? How everybody living? I am Willie Williams. Appreciate y'all for joining me. This is the Willie Williams Show. This is the Night Night Nightly News Show on this wonderful Thursday. This is Thursday, March the 28th, um, 2024 out here in the dog on street. I had to dig up. I need a baby wipe. I ain't got no baby wipe right now. I had to dig up a mouse because I cannot find me no triple A batteries, and that is such a problem. Um, I can't use it as an excuse because I had all these hours to go ahead on and get me some triple A batteries, and I still did not get a triple A battery, so I have failed. I have failed, but we finna try to go ahead on and work it on. Now I'm trying to get this dog on computer to operate and stuff like that. Um... I was meaning to order my dog on 49 inch, but I am doing some research about the 49 inches out here in these street. Y'all let me know if y'all own one of the 49 inch curve things. Let me know how that thing is working out for you all. I need information. That's what I need. Um, in case you don't know, I was looking into the own the o-n-n the walmart brand of the 49 inch and i do know that that is the cheaper brand i do get it it's not the samsung it's not the lg well it's not the samsung the odyssey and all that stuff that just immaculate it looks immaculate i get all that right there it ain't that right now i just need to be able to split screens three different screens i need to put three different screens on the doggone thing and i need to be able to sit on this doggone desk my problem is and i was thinking about this right here i know i know i know this is probably not even important to y'all but i'm trying to wait till everybody go on and get on it up up in here in case you're new around here to try to get this thing over 100 so we can get the party started so i'm just gonna talk my head off until we hit 100 thumbs up so i appreciate that and i need 100 um shares out here in these screen but anyway I've been looking at the own, but I don't even see any any reviews. I don't see any reviews. Nobody has done a video about the own 49 inch. I guess people is ashamed of buying the own, the O-N-N, um, the 49 inch curve monitors. Um, he said you don't need a high end monitor. He said they take a lot of electricity anyway. You write about that right there. I um the monitor is going to get rid of three three strings um two two laptops and and an extra monitor i am getting rid of that right there and i'm gonna move this laptop too so i'm unplugging these right here i'm unplugging these right here and i'm just gonna have that monitor because i already have the other computer that's already plugged up that's not in use so i'm just gonna use one one big monitor here. This is just gonna be here. But what I wanna do, I do not want the monitor standing straight up. I don't want it standing straight up because if it sit on the desk, it's gonna be like this dog on high and you ain't gonna be able to see my face. But what I wanna do, I wanna take the stand off of it and, and angle it and like sit it down on the table. I saw only one person have their setup like that and that is, um, Dana Lash. Shout out to Dana Lash and Lodge. I forgot how how you pronounce her name. I love how she got that 49 inch and is just sitting down in in the desk. I like that right there. And I'm trying to figure out how the hell did she get it down in in the desk at a curve so I don't have to be looking straight at that because I have TVs and shit right here. I I got a whole wall full of TVs here. So but I want to watch here. I just want to be able to do here so I can do the other things that I do on these three screens right here. You know what I'm saying? But I just got to find a way to let it sit down, lay down at that angle. I have not found the brackets or nothing like that. I have no idea. He said it sounds like a plan. I am trying to work it through before I go ahead on and order some stuff. You know what I'm saying? You say she cut a hole in the desk. That might be how she got that thing sitting like that right there because i was like i don't even think that they make any type of stand or something like that or maybe i have to buy it to see what it looked like and i may have to custom she probably got a custom desk yes 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 you absolutely correct um give y'all something to pat on the back because y'all made it over 100 by 08 that's what i'm talking about i appreciate that right there see i don't talk y'all heads off to go ahead on and um get the likes up because maybe y'all was tired of me running my dog on mouth. Y'all like, man, get to the show, get to the show. You know what I'm saying? So in order for me to get to the show, I gotta get the likes up. Oh, well, y'all have to get the likes up and I really do appreciate that right there. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Let me see if this dog on old. 
I got an old mouse. Let's see if this old mouse will work. Let's see, do I have, um, nope, I don't have no light. Nope, it's not gonna work. So it's the computer. It is the computer because this mouse works. I'm so sorry, I know that this mouse works. I done had this mouse about 15 years. Oh, see, I got some red, I got some red. Bam, 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 so it's moving. I got it, it's trying to do, oh man, it's acting, it's acting the ass. Maybe because it's sticky. It's not gonna work because it's messing up. All right, fine, go ahead on the move that down up out of the way. Whew. Atlanta, Georgia's in the building. What it do, what it do. California's in the house. New Jersey's up in this thing. Come on in, sit yourself right on down. Do not be afraid. Um, bam, 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 bam. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma's up in this thing. So the Bronx, New York is in this bit. Oh, I'm finna take you on around here to New York because New York has been getting violent. New York has been getting that well. Maybe they have always gotten violent, but uh, well, have always been violent. But y'all is just making the news. Y'all is really, really making the doggone news out here in New York. Y'all doing the most. Y'all jumping on uh, our beautiful lighter hue sister. Y'all punching them in their goddamn face out here in the doggone street. What's going on out here in New York? Is it something in the air? Is it something in there? You say use another USB port. Well, I got um another USB plugged up something else, and I don't want to remove that right there, and then it like affect everything. So I'ma just have to use the um the pad that's on the laptop. We can continue to use that right there until I get off the show. Um, which is crazy because the only thing that I had to do was get me some AAA batteries. I have AAA batteries, but I forgot to bring them in this room so I can go ahead on and do exactly what I need to do. He said, New York, y'all keep making us proud. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. It's 11 past the hour. Um, We also streaming live on Twitch. We also streaming live on twitch.tv.com, the Willie Williams Show. I really would appreciate it if y'all going around there um, and check out a player. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share, share, share. Now, where's this dog on thing at? Bam it. We finna go ahead on it, jump right on into it. We finna jump right into it. What, damn it, I'm, I am looking for the thing that say women. I'm looking for the thing that say women. Women, got it. It's a few minutes long. What was that? Nope, nope. It was on this page? I think it was on this page. I can't even much remember the dog on the name of the video. That is so crazy. I know that it start with I know it start with a W. I know it start with women. Damn it. Let's just go to the women. Got it. Bam. Hold on. Let me click. Let me click so I can get y'all started. So I'm going to jump on to something else real, real quick. And then we're going to jump right into the women that need to be. Oh, this is about a woman too. Jesus. We always got something going on. Let me put this up here on the screen for you ladies. You all got to watch 23-6 in your nine. I told y'all the 2022. For try y'all best. Try y'all best to stay alive. Cause y'all be dying and getting hurt and all that flaster right there. We got a woman who was stabbed during a robbery. A woman in her 60s hospitalized after being robbed and stabbed multiple times in broad daylight, according to witnesses. Some people tried to help during this frightening ordeal. Welcome back. I'm Mark Brown. I'm Giovanna Lala. You're watching Eyewitness News at 5, live on ABC7, Hulu, and wherever you stream. The incident was horrifying. It happened in Chinatown. Eyewitness News reporter Annabelle Munoz has more on how this all unfolded. Mm -hmm. Witnesses say it was a busy Sunday afternoon in Chinatown when an elderly woman was targeted by a man who robbed and later stabbed her. The rhythm is fall fall down in the, in the ground. Today, Chairman of the Chinese Chamber of Commerce Los Angeles, Chester Chung, spoke with business owners and a woman who says she was with the victim, her neighbor. According to Chung, a man tried to take the victim's purse, and she tried to hold on to it. Oh, she tried to buck a jack. Yeah, Turns boy. not about money, but important personal items. Medical car, and they have uh, all the ID, everything. They scare, she get scary. When lost this the document, she cannot go to the kidney, go to anywhere. Chung says the victim chased after the man. Some people who work in the area reported drivers pulled over to help. And according to witnesses, many others try to intervene. A lot of people is around him and then try to punch him, and, but he and then he got his knife out. That's why. Everybody's, you know, back up. He stabbed the lady 
about 12 times. So he stabbed about 12 times. Two women were seen beside the victim, appearing to apply pressure to her wounds. Chong says the victim remains in the hospital today and sustained many stab injuries. A witness says the man was eventually stopped by security guards. Police then arrived and are seen detaining someone, but have not confirmed who that person is. He's so scared, you know, this uh, Chinatown community, uh, maybe sometimes it's happen again or, you know, so we, we really need a lot of uh, protect. This is an area. We need a lot of protection. She tried. Yeah, with many elderly community members walking, working, selling fresh food along the sidewalk. This is important. Just let go. And also, don't bring any important document on your hand. According don't to bring any important documents in your hand. Don't have them in your purse. Listen, um, y'all got to go old school. I know that y'all carrying purses and shit, but don't keep your wallets inside your purses. Don't keep your wallets. Use your use your purse as a decoy. Police two mm -hmm. people were transported to the hospital, including the victim, a woman in her 60s. They did not specify who the other injured person was or if there was an arrest in this case. And since this is a democratic state, uh, the, the, I think. This is a Democratic community. Annabelle Munoz, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Where did this happen at? Hello, I'm... Where did this happen at? Hold on. 60s hospitalized after being robbed and stabbed multiple times in broad daylight, according to witnesses. Some people tried to help during this frightening ordeal. Was this in New York? Come back. I'm Mark Brown. I'm Giovanna Lala. You're watching Eyewitness News at 5, live on ABC7, Hulu, and wherever you stream. The incident was... I can't wait to say that I'm live on Hulu, too, but go ahead. Horrifying. It happened in Chinatown. Eyewitness News... Chinatown, but where? Chinatown where? Like what state? In California, reporter Adabel Munoz has more on how this all unfolded. In California, oh, all right, all right. witnesses say it was. A it looked like California. All right, cool. Move right along. Ain't gonna be much hold you. But look at, look at, look at. You all got to be careful, man. You all got to be. Damn it! I know that she's an older woman, and she believed that she in Chinatown. She ain't gonna happen to it. But baby, you in the great United States of America, and you was on Earth. We don't care. Listen, we don't care how old you is. Bitch, you might got the bag. You might got nice rings and shit. You might got them old school jewels and stuff. That rich. You might got that real gold. A lot of y'all don't know about that real, real gold. You know what I'm saying? You say, this is New York. Somebody say, this is Los Angeles. I don't know where it's at, but y'all be careful out here. Well, uh, psh, well, whether it's in New York and or... Los Angeles, this is one of them, dem them Democratic states. So what I was going to say, because it is a Democratic state, let me point this out to you real, real quick. They is possibly going to catch and release. They is possibly going to catch and release. That's what I was going to say about a Democratic state. Catch and release. It's all right. He didn't mean to stab her. That, damn it, she probably threw herself into the knife. You know what I'm saying? That is pro that, that would probably be the dude's defense. She jumped into the knife while I, while I was just trying to defend myself, while I was trying to grab the bag, but defend myself at the same doggone time. She just jumped into the knife 12 times. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, 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 we're going to, they is going to release him. Don't need much worry about it. Um, Shout out to Dale for the 199. Super chat, you see, say, disassemble the keyboard mouse stuff. Stuff is in inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, I had this mouse for a good little minute. I need to, take that one apart and clean it out and alcohol it all down and all that good stuff right there just in case i need it again now i just will not throw it away i like really don't throw away like keyboards and um mouses and stuff i probably got my hell i got four i got three brand new keyboards over here and i got by four used keyboards over there with like for, I got brand new mouses <laughs> like literally right that like damn it if I can't I can get up and grab it but I don't feel like getting up and grab it I I just want to complain I just want to complain mm hmm you said I can put clean mouse uh, I can put clean mouse on YouTube super chat sad 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 to say it. it's something like that right there um or you couldn't put clean mouse ah that's probably what you tried to say. I don't know, but look here. Let's go to New York now. We're going to go to New York now. We're going to run it down in New York. we got a few things that's in New York. And listen, I think New York has bought this on on their sales. I really, really do. Their, um, 
they're saying that there is a spike in attacks on the NYPD officers in New York. Because the, the tragic NYPD death of officer Jonathan Diller in Far Rockaway mm -hmm. last night, raising the issue of the recent spike in violence against members of the NYPD. And if it seems like more officers are being attacked, that's because they are. According to NYPD statistics, more than 5,400 officers were injured last year. That's up from more than 4,700 in 2022. Fox Eyes Kendall Green has more on those staggering stats that are causing concern. Mm -hmm. Monday night, the latest casualty, the latest reminder. Can I say it any clearer? It is the good guys against the bad guys. And these bad guys are violent. Not only are the offenders asserting violence on everyday New Yorkers, they're showing little to no mercy on New York City cops in uniform. Shout out to Dale for the 199 Super Chat. You say it was can Oh, all right, all right, got it. Appreciate it. Jonathan Diller, who was part of NYPD's critical response team, was shot and killed in a matter of seconds after confronting a driver and passenger of a vehicle illegally parked at a bus stop. Mm. These attacks on New York City police officers have to end right now. In right. Tuesday. Because when you said that aggressive, it's supposed to stop, but it don't. Go ahead. Just a day after Officer Diller was killed, police say a woman punched a female officer in the face and head after she tried to enter the subway without paying the fare at the subway station on 125th and Lex. Okay, but did she get locked up, and is she going to do time? Oh, yeah, remember before, that? On February 20th, video posted Bam. to TikTok shows a fight between NYPD officers and migrants on Randall's Island causing outrage. Oh. One month before that, on January 27th, as many as 14 people attacked two NYPD officers after they were trying to break up a group of men accused of acting disorderly near Times Square. In 2020, there were 3,378 officers injured. In 2021, 3,939. In 2022, 4,737. Do y'all understand that 21, 22, and 23, we was kind of like in the house a lot? Think about it. If I'm not mistaken, um, C-19 hit in 22, right? Or was it 21? I think it was 21 November, but it didn't like touch down to the great United States. Like really, really until March of 22, if I'm not mistaken. Can somebody please clarify this? I know it was at least two of those years that we was really in the house. And the numbers is that high? And last year, a peak of 5,363 officers. We clearly are experiencing a meteoric rise against officers as it relates to assaults. So far, we've seen a high-profile crime on officers every month as we wrap up the first quarter of 2024. Retired NYPD Lieutenant and Professor Dr. Darren Porcher argues those stats don't compare to what taxpaying New Yorkers are up against. However, it prompts questions. C-19 started in 2020? Wow. Mm. Begs the question as to what are we doing to provide the necessary fortifications within the criminal justice system and are the district attorneys effectively prosecuting these cases? Kendall Green, well, at Fox least, 5 News. Well, that, well, come on. Hey, what happened? Well, at least for two of them doggone years, we was in the house. We was in the house and the numbers was high. And that's a problem. That's a real, real problem out here in the doggone street. But the sad part is when people is getting apprehended, when people's apprehended, we catch and release. It's okay. It's all right. They didn't mean it. Oh, they suffering from mental illnesses. Remember that? They've been saying stuff like that. People, um, hell, this is their first offense. We need to give them a second chance. You know, people be saying stuff like that right now. Uh-huh. And this is in my mind why a lot of officers decided to, you know what? I'd rather work for Walmart, man. A lot of officers has quit, resigned, retired. Quit, resigned, retired. Because they're not being backed up by the higher ups. And that's a doggone shame. Let's go ahead on again to this right here. Dog, we got some disturbing footage out here in the doggone street. Y'all out here, I don't know who out here is punching these beautiful, these beautiful lighter hue sisters in their doggone face. But it's one thing about it. I want y'all to really, really understand. And I want y'all to listen. Listen to cadence. Listen to the voices. Listen to femininity. I was like, oh, gee. Oh, Jesus. Now, I am not saying that these women is so, so good. But I can tell you this right here. It feels good to hear femininity. Pay attention. 
The stories are harrowing. I was literally just walking, and a man came up and punched me in the face. Oh my god, it hurts so bad. College student Michaela Donato says she was just leaving class in Manhattan. So I just got punched in the face. He hit me right on my cheekbone. This doesn't hurt as bad as the concussion does. She says she didn't see it coming. You've got some visible signs. You have the black eye, but yeah. Michaela, emotionally, how are you feeling? No, it's been really, really hard. I think it hits me in waves. A lot of crying because it was really, really scary. Oh, she was crying and she was really, really scared. That's femininity right now. The NYPD confirms it is looking into at least four similar cases, like the one shared on social media. In one of them, police say a 40-year-old man has been arrested and charged with assault. Do y'all know that a lot of a lot of other females will say, oh, they soft. Them old soft. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to point out to those type of women who will say that right there, we like soft women. We don't like you hard, bitch. I, 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 no, we, we don't like you hard, babies. Like, we really, really don't. I don't know who told y'all that that is the thing to do, but we don't like y'all hard like that right now. No. I was punched in the head uh, in New York City, um, in Times Square. But the police have not linked the cases to the videos. In recent days, dozens of accounts of alleged assault have popped up online. NBC News has not been able to verify all the videos. The troubling stories surfacing at the same time there has been a rash of violent crimes on the city's busy subways. In response, the National Guard has been brought in to search bags. And 1,000 additional NYPD officers are now riding the trains, too. They're going to say it like the National Guard has been there every dog on day. We saw, damn it, we did incidents um, or events. We showed events to where the National Guards were nowhere to be found. So in case y'all is across the country thinking that the National Guard is just around there all day, every day, that's not what is happening. That's really not what is happening. Shout out to Rashawn for the for the for the one dollar cash shop. He said I get called the nerd for the way I talk. You know what I'm saying? They probably tell you that you talk white. But the mayor pushing back on the idea that crime is rampant in this city and expressing concerns that social media is stoking fears. I know a city out of control because I visit some of them in this country. You whoa. He say he knows a city that's out of control. He visits some of them in this country. So is he saying that his city is not out of control? This is not one of them. Oh, New York is not out of control? Wow. Y'all police officers are getting jumped on. 77% of Americans believe crime is on the rise, according to a Gallup poll. Misdemeanor assault is up 10% from this time last year in New York City. But in most places, the FBI says violent crime is down. Okay. I'm really scared to go back to school. I've just been delaying it as long as possible, but I'll have to go back eventually. So what do we know about the person that was arrested? Well, he is a repeat offender, according to police. He has mm. an extensive criminal record. He's been arrested three times in the last six months mm. for similar crimes. It is He is what the police call a recidivist. And I've had conversations not just about this spate of crimes, but also about what's going on on the subway. And mm -hmm. it's one of the largest concerns right now in the NYPD. They are arresting the same people for the same crimes over oh, and they're getting and out of jail over. and it's happening again. This ha yes, it's catch and release. Happened right. to a very good friend of mine who actually happened to be the former head of New York City Transit. Ran the subway, <laughs> got punched in the face in uh, broad uh, daylight. Uh, when was that? About a, uh, 15 months ago. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so. it's, a, it's a scary trend. Yeah. Um, the police Ooh. finally overnight connecting the video to the crime, the TikTok to the crime. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right, Steph. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. But I've been to other cities in this country here, and I know um, an out of hand city. <laughs> this is not one of them, really. You got the head, the former head of transit that got punched on shit too. It's not out of control. Wow, the dude have multiple, uh, damn it, a history of violence. I'm catching release, catching release. Listen, y'all, remember November is coming up. I'm going to see if y'all keep these same people in office. I'm going to see what you good people do because, listen, I think we vote like on, like, what, like November the 3rd or something like that right now? On November the 4th, bitch, because it's on the Tuesday. So that Wednesday, November the 4th, 
I'm getting in y'all ass on November the 4th. I promise you that right now. If I see the same dog on people don't want and they still in office, I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going to do a snap video or something like that right there. Let's see because they had another video of the same thing. But here we go. I was literally just walking and a man came up and punched me in the face. Stories from New York City women going viral on TikTok. I literally just got punched by some man on the sidewalk. Do you notice not now one of these women said, I got punched in my face, but I punched his ass back, shit. I wrestled him with his ass, you know what I'm saying? He thought that he was just gonna hit me. You know, la la ladies, we like soft women. I promise you we do. For videos detailing how they're allegedly getting- They didn't say that they strong or none of that fly stuff. They did not show that they were scrimpy and nothing. No, 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 no. They walked away. I literally just got punched in the face. Oh my God, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That type of tone, brings sympathy from other human beings. They say, Willie, they're lying. But listen, due to their tone, due to their cadence, their tone, their behavior, they're very believable. Very believable. In the face, completely unprovoked. Several women have posted these videos describing similar allegations in just the last week. Think about this right here. They could all be lying but they are believable. Hallie Kate posted about an assault on Monday. She says she had to be treated at a local medical facility for injuries to the left side of her face. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. Can you hear the cry? Can you hear the cry in her? I just want y'all to understand like the difference in females. Can you just hear the cry though? I can't even talk. Olivia Brand posting updates on her. You said that lump ain't lying. Her own experience earlier this month after commenters on TikTok started connecting the two cases. You say them black eyes make them believable. Yup. I did just get a call from the New York Police Department detective. The NYPD says it's investigating the incidents, but says it's unclear right now whether mm -hmm. they're connected. Police announced one assault arrest related to Hallie's case. 40 year old Skyboki Stora taken into custody. Other users posting videos expressing shock, fear, and even sharing tips for staying safe. Well, hell, they can't be lying. They done took a player in, um, they got a player in custody. Like not being distracted on your phone. Well, maybe they all not telling the truth, but at least somebody is telling, uh, at least somebody has a claim that done got a player locked up, though. Well, hell, they can lie and get a player locked up, so you may got a point. Go ahead. While you're out and about. It's not the first time this type of incident has been reported in the city. When videos like that first started popping up, everyone was sending them to me and like commenting and like adding me and saying like, look, this girl went through something similar. Elio Wagner says she was punched in the face by someone she didn't know last September. So we were kind of like walking toward each other um, and he didn't seem crazy or scary or anything. Y'all, like, like the voice be so settling. Now listen, listen, listen. We um, we trust all humans, and we don't put nothing past no goddamn body. But it's just the voice; it's just so soothing. I, I yeah. Now I know a lot of you all. You may have not been around a lot of women throughout y'all life, but I've been around a whole bunch of women throughout my lives, all hues, not just dog hue. And man, there is a really, really big difference in in speech, in tone, in cadence. I don't know if y'all recognize it, but it's it, but it just is. Shout out to Ralph for the, for the, for the $5 super chat. You say, um, Uncle Willie, we gotta sign them up for training. Bam, but see, 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 see these beautiful babies don't need the training. They garnered the sympathy and let society handle the situation. Them babies ain't trying to fight nothing, <laughs> no. And then before I knew it, he kind of went at me diagonally and punched me in the face and ran that way. NYPD data from last month shows many crimes are down in the city compared with last year, mm -hmm. including shootings, burglaries, and murders. But felony assaults are up. Mm. Broken down by week, misdemeanor assaults are up 10% compared mm -hmm. to the same period last year. However, this data is not broken down by gender. And some women like Elio, who carries a self-defense kit, saying in light of recent attacks, they don't feel safer. I love New York, but as a woman, it is very scary. So I kind of
kind of feel safer like carrying something with me. It's very it's safer as a woman. She called herself a woman. Uh, to defend myself that way in case it happens again, I'm not completely defenseless. So she know that without those items, without those objects, she's defenseless. Y'all know there's a lot of other women be like, bitch, I am not defensive. I'm a fight one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? We get that type of energy. I get defending yourself and defending yourself to the best of your doggone ability. But I am really just talking about cadence. I am really just talking about behavior. I'm really just talking about when you really feel that some, when you really can believe somebody was hurt. At least they know how to put on an act. Stephen Romo oh, joins us tonight live from New York City. Stephen, I'm learning something now. Some of the, some women just know how to put on a good act. A lot of y'all, I don't know, you just don't have the ability to put on the act. About that self-defense kit as well. W what else are we hearing about this one suspect that is in custody tonight? Yeah, we've learned uh, quite a bit about him, Tom. This guy, Boki Store, he actually is a bit of a fringe political figure. He ran for mayor of New York City back in 2020. This... Negro ran for mayor back in 2020. I wonder how many votes he got. One, and he has now been charged with it. Wait, they said he won? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Say it again. Mayor of New York City back in... Yeah, we've learned quite a bit about him, Tom. This guy, Boki Store, he actually is a bit of a fringe political figure. He ran for mayor of New York City back in 2021, and he has now been charged with this assault for one of these cases. It's important to point out, police have not identified him as a suspect in any of the other cases. We did try to reach him and a lawyer for him today to get more information from them directly. We were not able to hear from them. Uh, he ran for mayor him buddy he ran for me i don't know what listen listen y'all i gotta get up off my behind i gotta put my um i gotta put a foot in the game he ran for office <laughs> i got to fix my life i need ayana to help me fix my dog on life if he, if he ran for office what am i waiting on you know what i'm saying information from them directly we were not able to hear from them uh, tonight but certainly these other cases as well more to follow on that time wow. thanks wow i need to run for up uh, i feel so bad for myself <laughs> i not listen, listen listen i feel like a failure i feel like a failure Huh? I ain't even much got no excuse. He said, so that Negro got some money. Yeah, yeah, because you do need some money for like a campaign. I got to do me a GoFundMe. I got to do me a GoFundMe. I need a campaign going. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me, let's go and talk about Walmart real, real quick. Well, Walmart and Target. Ooh, there's um trying something different. Well, at least the belief that they're trying something different. They are saying that no Walmart and Target. Well, there has been, well, they have said that Walmart and Target is going to charge you to use the self checkout thing. That's what they say. But here we go. Up with the question, because right now. Are new charges coming to use those self-checkout lines? That self-checkout is such a time saver, yeah. depending on who you're behind, right. maybe. <laughs> Several verified viewers have sent in posts like this one, though, claiming that stores are starting to limit those lanes to certain paying customers. 10 Tampa Bay anchor Josh Norwitz is here every Monday verifying your questions. And Josh, all right, any truth to this one? So here's the deal. Walmart and Target are now both selling paid memberships for Walmart members. It means you can actually scan items on your phone as you shop and then check out faster using those self checkout lanes. I didn't know that. I didn't know that that's what Target was doing. You can scan the item while you picking it up. Wow. Target's offering free shipping with theirs along with longer return windows and other discounts. But both spokespeople for the retailers tell our Verify team that Neither have plans to add a fee to their self-checkout lanes as part of these memberships. So those claims are false, but here is where the confusion might have come from. Both stores did recently announce changes to self-checkout. Target is now limiting those lanes to customers with 10 items or less. And some Walmarts are going to limit the hours when that self-checkout is open. But again, 
no fees. As always, if you see something that you want verified, you can email or text it to the address or number. That's what's up. That's what's up. A lot of people thought that they was going to be charging you to use the self-checkout. I was like, really? When I looked at it, I was I was like, now that don't make no damn sense. Shout out to Ken J for the $2 super chat. He said, didn't someone tell them never, never hook with a hooker? <laughs> I, I, damn it, I don't think so. <laughs> or maybe somebody did. They just wasn't listening. Shout out to your mama booty extra soft for the $1 cash app. Say November the 4th is vote that, oh, vote for driving your mama around, <laughs> driving your mammy around. Bam. So it's going to be on the 4th this year? Well, hell, maybe it's always been on the 4th. And I just said the 3rd and I was wrong. That's what's up. I appreciate that right now. He said the Amazon store do the same thing. Say nothing new. Oh, I ain't need much done. See, a lot of things, a lot of people know, a lot of things, a lot of people, they, they don't know. Um, where was I? Where was I? We got, um, oh, no, we saving that one. We doing this one. We got to go to Orlando. We got us another one, y'all. He say, well, I'm voting for Trump. That's what's up. That's what's up. Do what you need to do. Vote your wallet out here in these doggone street. I got to take y'all to Orlando. Y'all, we got another sister. Oh, we got another sister. I think they trying to tear down our darker hue sisters out here in these streets. Out in Orlando, Commissioner Regina Hall has been arrested. Here we go. All right, that breaking news out of Orlando, where City Commissioner Regina Hill has been arrested. Hill, Just last week, we told you agents were investigating Hill over claims that she exploited an elderly woman. And today, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement announced formal charges against her, and they include three counts of exploitation of the elderly, mortgage fraud, and some other charges. And we have a picture here in the monitor. Uh, we should have had one. We had Hill. Don't he look like Jimmy Jones? mugshot earlier today uh that's it right here and we also have Westchester. look at regina hill shout out to regina i think i voted for regina no no i no i couldn't vote for her because no no she was up in north North Orlando, but I did the show on her. Thank Go Daniel. Ahead, He's been following this breaking news for us all day long dave not long ago we did hear from the special agent in charge we did, and he went into detail about exactly how thoroughly complex this thing was, how much they had to do with various witness statements and a lot of document analysis, all leading to the arrest of the Orlando City Commissioner. Today, FDLE arrested Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill. We had reported on the investigation and now an indictment. Agents discovered that Hill used her influence over the victim to fraudulently obtain a power of attorney. Mrs. Hill. I said Jimmy Jones. I meant Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, yeah. The head coach of um, what it was, the Miami Hurricanes, and then he went to do for Dallas. I think it was. Go ahead. Go ahead. betrayed the trust of her community by taking advantage of a 96-year-old elderly citizen. Agents say Hill learned of the woman living in poor conditions and the two connected. Ms. Hill became aware of this resident because of her position as the city commissioner and that because of that she was able to, to lend what appeared to be some benefit services that then turned into these, these acts that we discussed. Leading wow. to charges of elderly exploitation, mortgage fraud, scheme to defraud, and two counts of fraud. Do y'all think that they just trying to tear down a dog you sister out here? I told y'all this is the year. I don't know what's what it is about 2024, but a lot of our dog you sisters is um down bad right now. They need your prayers. Agents saying Hill used the power of attorney to buy a home in the victim's name. Wow. Plus, Hill repeatedly used the victim's finances to purchase rental cars, hotel stays. Personal luxury items such as such as expensive bottles of perfume from high-end retailers. Saying the fraud. What kind of perfume? Did you buy some angel, baby? Mm -hmm. Exceeded one hundred thousand dollars. It's also important to remember all the good things that she's done for her constituents. Remember all the good things, like like the mob. The mob feed people and stuff like that. So those those is like the good things. But y'all do know that they knock people off too. Don't worry about them killing people. Just remember all the good things that they had done did. You know, it's kind of like pedophiles and grapists and stuff. Don't worry about that. They just got um, accused and or 
caught graping the child. Just remember all the good things that they did in in the community and on the job. Hey, yeah, all right, go ahead. And for this city. An attorney who represented Hill at her initial court appearance spoke as he left the jail. Obviously, the allegations against her are serious and shocking, but it's incredibly important to remember one thing. In the eyes of the law, she's presumed to be innocent. Hill was in jail on bonds totaling $40,000, but left jail without a word a little after 2.30 in the afternoon. That's what's up. And again, the investigators say that their investigation is not complete, but at this point, they do not believe there are any other potential victims. Reporting live at the Orange County Jail, Dave McDaniel, Western News. Damn, dog. Oh. That is a lit. I keep forgetting to write down and have a list posted up of all our dark you sisters who have fallen short of glory. It's a good thing that Jesus them give give grace right now, but babies, y'all, I don't understand. Y'all is losing, and this is an election year. We have not even made it to November, and y'all is already going through the wrangle. A whole bunch of years. It got to be at least eight. It. It got to be at least eight darker hue sisters who was in politics who are shooting bad right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Regina Hill. Um, damn it. She already out, so we can't say free my dog. You know what I'm saying? But baby, that damn I gotta put that beautiful picture back up real real quick. One more again. Look at Regina. Do y'all understand? When she first ran, and this was like five, six, seven years ago. When she first ran, her signs was up in in Orlando or something, and I saw the signs, and I was like, oh my God, let me look into this and let me talk about it. I did a show on her. She has a background. She has a criminal history, if I'm not mistaken, but I was like, none of that matters. Can she do the job, though? And hell, she won. I was shot. I was like, oh shit, for real? That's what's up. The community had them back that baby up, and now she going through this right here. Damn, sugar. Y'all pray for that, baby. Move right along. Ain't going to be much hold you. Got to be more careful, baby. Damn, we gave you a chance, sugar. Whoo, just like so many dog of you sisters. Y'all, 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 um, y'all keep failing yourselves. Y'all keep failing yourselves and, and y'all, y'all is being attacked by the system because other, other races of, um, other races of women do the same thing and they is not being attacked. That's what y'all like to say out here in the dark old street. I don't know why y'all like to say it, but this is what y'all like to say. Oh, oh, I got some informational. I got some information. This is really going to help. Now, it, listen, if don't nothing else help you, N, N, uh, N, O, P. We got a new, bam, a new. Grab that. Do that. All right, here we go, y'all. We got some real good information. This is educational, and this is something that you can use if you can find it in your local Walmart or Walgreens or the CVS and stuff like that right now. This is this for real, for real. And listen, ladies, you all have no more excuses. Watch this. A new over-the-counter birth control pill is hitting shelves this week, becoming the first contraceptive to be made widely available without a prescription. So our Jamaica Ponder is here live in the studio to chat about this a little bit more. This is a big deal, Jamaica. No, it is. It's the first time that we're ever seeing this made readily available and as widely available as it is. So right now, we see reproductive rights being rolled back at both the state and federal levels. And this new birth control is one step in the opposite direction. It's called O-Pill, and it may already be in a farm near you you have no excuse of why you cannot get on birth control shout out to fifi for the five for the five dollar cash out they say got a migraine so i can't chat but here up you go i appreciate that right there say here you go i appreciate it Mm -hmm. look, 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 look. across the country drugstores are shelving their freshly delivered stock of birth control pills at this Walgreens and hundreds of others, instead of just taking them behind the pharmacist counter, they're being put on shelves too. You can call a player who is peeing in you and tell him to stop by the store, pick up some birth control and slide on through. You ain't even got to go to the store. Ladies, watch this, watch this. You ain't even got to go to the store. You don't even have to buy it. I can almost guarantee you if, if you is finna allow a player to smash, Tell him, go on around there, 
pick that there up, bring that there so we can go ahead on and get it in. I promise you, if he has to borrow money from his mammy, that's what he going to do. Opil is our new over-the-counter birth control. and it's Oh, and it's cheap, too. Watch already it. available at all locations. Jamie Perkins is one of the scores of pharmacists gearing up to help customers navigate the first-of-its-kind oh, yeah. product. Though, the pill isn't all that revolutionary. So the product itself is not new to the pharmacy world. However, it is new Look at that. to the aisles. Look at that price. Look at the price. You can't say, I ain't got it, I ain't got it. <laughs> you can borrow $20. That's nothing. It's no different than any other. You should not be letting. A, you should not be having sex with a dude if he ain't got twenty dollars. Birth control that you can get as a prescription. The ingredient actually is what you see in other birth controls that are available prescription only. The new now, mind you, the twenty will come off of the thirty-seven fifty. So we spend twenty dollars on the pills, and you keep the seventeen fifty. I'm just trying to tell y'all because we ain't price gouging. Go ahead. The thing about Opil is that anyone can buy it anytime without having to talk to a doctor first. There are no age restrictions for anyone to purchase the pill. It's just readily available to anyone that wants to purchase the medication. Just no age restrictions. So you're a 12 year old, you're a 13 year old, when they monkeys on fire and shit like that, they can go on around there, purchase that right there, no questions asked. Different than ibuprofen or any other over the counter item. At you what? don't have to wait on your mammy. None of that right there. I'm trying to wait on my mama, use her insurance and stuff to take me around here to get it. Nope, 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 nope. You can just go on up there by yourself. You can even get $20 from the teacher who smashed you. It's nothing. All greens, you can find Opil in the family planning aisle or at the pharmacy. The packs come 28 pills. That's $19.99, or you can get a three-month supply, which would be 84 days, and that's $49.99. I don't like the 28 things because that's like for the month of February. You know what I'm saying? Y'all should have like a 30 or 31. But listen, listen, it forces you to buy every month. It's $20 a month, so that's 20 times 12. That's down to $200. That's $200 and $240. That's two forty. That That's $204 a month. If you cannot afford, then no. $240 a year. If you cannot afford $240 a year, you need not be hunching him. Shit, if he can't even go half on that bit, you should not be hunching him. I know you like him. You should not be hunching him. And listen, ooh, ooh, ooh. Babies, I'm here to help. Watch this, watch this. If you want to get him to pay for it, watch this. Easy, easy. Do you want to pay for it or do you want to be on child support? Ooh. See, because we want to smash. The one thing we don't want to do is be on child support. We still want to smash. You can say it. We're going to come up with that paper. We may not be able to do the whole 240, but we at least be able to do the 20. Mm -hmm. And if you have any questions, Perkins says that's what your pharmacist mm -hmm. is there for. You can also go into the consultation window and then you can speak to us directly. And of course, if you want privacy, we can always take you into an immunization room and speak to you one on one if you want that direct patient care. If Opil hasn't made it to your local pharmacy yet, Perkins says they're likely en route. If you see this in your pharmacy, just know that it's on its way. Perkins says that Opil's formula is deemed the safest of available birth control options out there. You can either buy one or three months supply at a time, and Walgreens is expecting all stores to be stocked up by April. So next week. Absolutely. Jamaica, thanks so much for bringing us the story. Right? You can donate plasma for them 20 bucks. Ladies, there's no more excuses. The only excuse that you have for right now is it may not be in your stores. So I'm going to give y'all until like the summer, because they say by the summer... It should be everywhere, right? There's no more excuses. Bitch, if you can buy a, a pack of Black and Miles and a six pack of some, you can get you some pills. Well, I can't get no pill because I ain't got no insurance. And I don't got no insurance. You don't need insurance. <laughs> so y'all can't use that lie no more. Well, you cannot use that excuse anymore. Uh-uh. Help is on the way, babies. Help is on the way. Move right along. I ain't going to eat much hold you. I like it. I like it. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all for you, good people. All for you, good people. Let me run you to Tennessee real, real quick. You all, and we also going around here. We running around here to Tennessee. Um, we finna run to Tennessee. 
And we also going to Rumble. We is going to Rumble at 9 o'clock. Get yourself together. Get you some more water and all that flashy right there. Um, it's already open. Rumble is already open. It's ready for you to go. Hold on. God, dog it. Now, wait a dog on thing. I can't find Tennessee. I'm looking for it. It's supposed to be here. It has. What the hell? Come on, Tennessee. Oh, it's not letting me do it. Now, why would it do that? Now, why is it showing five minutes? That's stupid because it's not a five minute video. Hold on. It's messing me all up. I I keep trying to tell y'all every time I'm on the road, everything looking good. I hear any dog on the street. It just messes itself up. Now it's doing it again. Damn it. Don't need much worry about it. Um, come on, come on, Willie. Be, be, be quick, pimping. Be quick. I got it. I got it. They're trying to make me look bad. Be quick. Yada, yada, yada. Tennessee, I got to watch it. Watch it. That boy quick. That boy smooth out here. Grab that. Stop that. Slide that. Push that. That boy good. That boy good right there. Hold on, hold on. Let me bring that there down. I think I'm going to need this one. Bring that there down. Grab that, push that. Here we go, y'all. Down in Miami, Florida. Florida, my state, stand your ground, stay, bust a bitch, go home, stay. Please don't run up. We ain't fit for our life state. We got a Tennessee stripper who is accused of stabbing a fellow stripper in Miami Beach. Look at this little shout, little video. Look, 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 look. Miami Beach police arresting a Tennessee stripper who officers say stabbed her co worker several times. The victim told officers that Tequila Campbell was waiting inside her hotel room along Collins Avenue. The woman says Campbell stabbed her at least 10 times after they got into a fight. This is video from the scene. As the victim was rushed to the hospital where doctors had to remove a knife from her shoulder, Campbell is facing one count of second degree attempted murder. She stabbed that baby 10 times, real, real quick. Listen, she stabbed her so fast, she stabbed her the same time it took for them to do the doggone video. 23 seconds, she hit that bit 23 times out here. Listen, or, or 10, 10 times, but they did the video in 10, um, in 23 seconds. This is a whole problem, and I keep trying to tell y'all, watch your mouth, but you're hard headed. Mm -hmm. Look at that beautiful baby. That be damn it, she can go for what this is. She can go for 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. I'm gonna give about a, uh, I'm gonna give her like 23 because she is real young looking, especially with her hair. Her hair makes her look even younger because it's look like, like a kitty type hairdo. That's what it looked like. Beautiful baby, and she's a scripper. I know, I know you got that look on your face like, damn boy, I wanna say that baby, but you can't, you can't. She already got that monkey out there on that pole, and once they put on that pole, that bitch can't be saved. Here, they don't wanna be saved. They made songs about that right there. So you let a baby live, go ahead. Victim told officers that Tequila Campbell was waiting inside her hotel room along Collins Avenue. The woman says Campbell stabbed her at least 10 times, after they got into a fight. This is video from the scene. She waited on in. Ooh, gave it a business. As the victim was rushed to the hospital where doctors had to remove a knife from her shoulder. Campbell is facing one count of second degree attempt. That's what's up. Second degree attempted murder. Let's say this, why do the um we we don't know what the other girl had done. Well, they did say that they was thumping. So she must have lost. She must have like, oh, she got a little black eye, you know, because she's a little lighter hue, so we can see the little eye thing. Maybe she felt like she lost. And a lot of times, ladies, I want y'all to understand, just like I be trying to tell the players, you can lose the fight. Like you as a person, you can lose the fight and still get stabbed. But how it typically goes, the person who lose the fight will try to do the stabbing, the killing, the running you over, and all that fly stuff. So just be careful out here in these dog on the street. Moving right along, I ain't gonna eat much hole, yo. Bam! Beautiful little baby. Give y'all selves a pat on the back. Y'all have made it to the end of the night, night, nightly news on this wonderful Thursday, March the 28th, 2024. That's what's up. We is in the first quarter. We is almost at the first quarter. Sunday. Sunday is Easter. Y'all make sure that y'all get y'all Easter uniforms, y'all Easter outfits, something like that right there. You know what I'm saying? And be prancing around and talk about how much you love the Lord, but you don't need much to know the book. That's what's up. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm not judging you, but I'm judging around here at the Willie Williams Show. I'm trying to tell you something. Play a prostate cancer awareness around here at the Willie Williams Show. Say it's just a finger. So your prostate don't work, your meat don't work. Mess around and lose your little la-la and or your life is your choice. You make the call. Your body 
Yo, booty, I am here to help. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm is. We finna go around here to Rumble, Rumble.com, The Willie Williams Show. The link is down there in the description. We also finna go to Kick.com, The Willie Williams Show. The link is down there in the description. I'm gonna see y'all around there. Um, It's already open. Y'all go ahead on and find the player. I am out of here.